Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. Today is June 30th, 2011, the final trading day in the month of June. Uh, let's go right into the charts here. A lot to cover. We have the futures trading higher. Here's the S&P 500 E-mini futures, just higher by about $2.50, $2.75. Not a big deal. Not a bad pattern here either, though. Holding steady this morning. Um, right now, the markets are pretty calm. There's not a lot out of, out of Europe. We also have the U.S. dollar index, which is falling again today, down about 25 cents. Let me just show you a daily chart of the dollar. You'll see that we've been down three days. The markets have been up three days. Today, the dollar is down again, and the markets are slightly higher. Notice the dollar is off the low of the session, and you can see that better if I pull up a, a five-minute chart. You can see how the dollar has increased, and the futures have come off the highs, just trading up about um, $2.75 right to 1307 on the S&P 500 e-mini contract. So again, uh, dollar down, futures are up slightly, and we'll see how this market plays out. Um, there's a lot going on in Europe, although we do have another Greek vote today, but we do expect it to pass with no problem, and they'll get another bailout. Um, that will just be kicking the can down the road. But it's only going to be a matter of time before the next European problem uh, emerges. So whether it's Italy, whether it's Spain, whether it's Ireland, Portugal, Belgium, Lithuania, uh, the really it, it just remains to be seen. But it's only amount, uh, a small amount of time uh, before that does occur. So we'll have to wait and see how that plays out. You also had some ne negative economic data out of the UK. Now the UK is not part of the Eurozone complex, but nonetheless um, there's there's going to be a, a, a public worker strike going on today in the UK, and it's going to be with about 750,000 union members or supposedly staging a one-day strike. So we'll see how that affects the UK. The UK um, will lose a lot of business just right there in that one day, and, and that, that has not been uh, beneficial to see these strikes going on. Um, you also have... Um, the Eurozone inflation rate is, is starting to creep up there, and it looks like the the uh, Eurozone president, Central Bank President Jean-Claude Trichet said, you know, they may have to raise rates, uh, interest rate hike very soon. So we'll see if that does take place or if that's just cheap talk. We'll see how it plays out. Okay, it's 8.30 in the morning. It looks like we just got uh, weekly jobless claims are out. The futures are starting to fall here a little bit. Okay, futures are, are moving down a little bit. So we'll see how um, that plays out. But it looks like Weekly initial jobless claims are out. A lot of times the first move is the wrong move. You'll get a flash move down. Then the markets will move back up. Again, it's going to really depend on the dollar. Whatever the dollar is doing, that's the way this market's going to go. So if the dollar just moved up, which I guess it did, briefly, yeah, you can see the dollar moving up here. Futures are moving down. And it's just an inverse relationship. The only time it won't work, the inverse relationship it seems, is when the volume in the trading market is very, very light. Now today is the final uh, trading day of the week in my opinion. Tomorrow the markets are open, but it's going to be a very light volume trading day um, barring no geopolitical events due to the fact that tomorrow is the last day um, before the holiday. Many traders will probably you know, take off this afternoon for the holiday. Many institutional traders, that is, they're the ones that can move markets. Um, other traders will leave tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon. So again, expect light volume uh, tomorrow, and we'll see how that plays out. It looks like um, <clears throat> the jobless claims really just had a quick flash effect, and then you know, moving right back up. So not a real big deal there. You're going to have some more economic news today. Initial claims, which was just reported, at 8.30 and then 9.45 today you're going to have Chicago PMI. So that's uh, what you have to look for, Chicago PMI at 9.45. Again, it's going to be a dollar effect. If the dollar moves up, market moves down, dollar moves down, market moves up. I wouldn't make too much out of the economic news right now these days. Now the Asian markets last night had a big, big day. Um, all the Asian markets were higher. The Nikkei was only up um, two-tenths of one percent. That was the weakest of all the gains, but the Nikkei was up the night before very, very big, so not a big deal to see that pause a little bit. But you had the Hang Seng up a point, uh, one and a half point, uh, one and a half percent. The Shanghai was up one and a quarter percent. Australia was up almost two percent. And then you had the Sensex up eight-tenths of one percent. So really across the board, um, you could look for early strength, probably in a lot of commodity names, things of that nature. Freeport Mac had a big day yesterday, so it looks like it's taking a break today, but it is up a little bit. Um, 
Keep on the uh, keep on your eyes. Cleveland Cliffs. That is trading up a little bit today. A lot of these stocks, though, are at good resistance points, so you want to watch for that and be a little bit on the cautious side. They've all, you know, made very, very good moves and could be due for short-term pullbacks. We've also had a robust rally over the past three days, which also tells us the markets could be looking for um, some pullbacks. So just again, you know, just just be a, a little bit on the cautious side. I don't think the Greek vote is going to be that important today, um, just due to the fact that. Um, it's expected to pass, and the other two votes that were expected to pass really passed with no problem. So, again, just watch for that, and we'll see how it plays out. Um, there are some stocks in the news this morning. One stock that's having a huge move today is FSLR, First Solar. Okay, it looks like uh, First Solar is surging this morning. The stock yesterday closed at 129.42. Today it's trading at 138.30. It looks like the Department of Energy is going to give them a guaranteed um, loan for $4.5 billion, and um, they got a Credit Suisse upgrade. So First Solar is getting a big, big bid. This stock now, to me, is a little bit overcooked, but maybe it runs up a little bit more. I don't know how much more it has in the tank, but be careful with First Solar. I wouldn't be surprised to see it fade a little bit um, after the first half hour, first hour of the day. Okay, so watch that one. Then we have eBay, which is having a nice, nice move today. eBay looks pretty solid today, although I don't really expect it to get much higher than, than the current level, 32.30. Uh, 30. But the stock is up nicely after yesterday's um, Federal Reserve announcement on the debit card fees that they would not be as harsh as they originally were. Um, eBay is benefiting from their PayPal unit. So, again, two stocks that I'm seeing um, showing some decent strength today. Um, First Solar and eBay. On the downside, I'm not really seeing anything pre-market that, that's really looking like it's getting hit very hard today. For the most part, the market is in jubilee mode um, with the Greek austerity vote. That may last a little bit longer, may linger. But um, again, you've had a big, big rally, so maybe we're due for a little bit of a pause day or something of that nature. But in any case, um, this is where we stand right now. We're not going to make too much out of it. Again, you know, watch the U.S. dollar index. It'll probably give you all the clues you need for the, uh, for the trading day throughout. Okay? With that said, everyone, um, have a great afternoon, great trading day, great morning. And I'll see you all on the charts, those of you that belong to the chat room at 930. Have a good day now.